Hi guys, welcome to Crave With Me. If you haven't already, remember to like and to subscribe to my channel. So today we're gonna be making some Jamaican jerk chicken wings. Here I have about two to three pounds of chicken wings. So I already washed it with some lemon, um, some lemon vinegar and salt. So it's already been cleaned. Please make sure to wash your meat. I'm going to be putting the seasonings in the description box below, just in case you guys wanna follow this recipe. So first things first, I'm gonna add some black pepper. And I'm gonna add a good amount as well. That's a lot of meat. Next, I'm gonna add some granulated, um, some garlic powder, sorry. Granulated garlic. Some chicken seasoning. This I'm gonna add a good amount, and I am adding a lot because it is a lot of meat. Also, I have a mixture of some allspice, some garlic, and pimento in this bottle. Oh, and my salt. And we're gonna put a little bit of salt as well. So here I have some fresh seasoning. So I have some thyme, some garlic, some ginger, red onion, scallion, and some scotch bonnet pepper. So we're just gonna add all of that in. Next, I'll be using my favorite jerk seasoning, which is the Walker's Wood jerk seasoning. I'm using the hot and spicy because I like my food spicy. If you don't like your food as spicy, you guys can use the mild selection. And it's available at any like local West Indian market as well as um, major grocery stores. So I'm adding about two tablespoons, cuts a lot of meat. And also lastly, we're gonna be adding browning as well. So this is for color. So I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of browning. So now we're just gonna give the chicken a, a good mix. So I'm just gonna go in and use my hands to mix the meat. Please make sure to wash your hands prior to doing this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and massage everything into the chicken. Pull up and bottom up. So I'm actually gonna add about a teaspoon more of browning because I like my meat darker. And I'll be baking this as well. Alright, so we're just gonna massage this in and this is the color I'm going for. This is the perfect color. And we're gonna I'm gonna let this marinate for um, overnight and cook it tomorrow because I want these seasonings to soak into the meat. So the longer you marinate your meat, the better your meat will taste. Alright, hey guys, so we're back. It's day two. So I had the meat marinating overnight, so now I'm gonna add it to my Pyrex dish and we'll bake it in the oven. I might just do that because I don't like when it's so full. I want to make sure that everything cooks evenly. Here's the jerk chicken, so I'm going to cover it up with some foil. I have my oven preheated at 350 degrees and I'm going to let this bake for 30 minutes prior to checking on it and then I'll let you guys have a look at it once it's 30 minutes is up. All right guys, so it's been about 30 minutes. I'm gonna check on the jerk chicken now. So this is what it looks like. So I'm just gonna get ready to flip them and then I'm gonna add a, um, a sauce. So I'm gonna leave it uncovered now and just let it continue cooking. All right guys, so I just have a little mixture that I like to add to my jerk chicken. So it's just a little bit of the Walker's with jerk chicken um, seasoning, some brown sugar, and just a little bit of water. So I'm just gonna add this to the jerk chicken right now. All right guys, so here you have it, my jerk chicken. So if you guys haven't already, please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. Also hit that notification bell 
and we will see you on the next video. Bye guys.